Hello and welcome to the graduation party for data analysis with Python Zero to Pandas. As most of you already know, this was a six week course that we started on the 15th of August and we had six video lectures apart from which we had assignments and a course project, all of which has just been completed. And today we are here to celebrate all that we have done during the duration of the course and see what's next. So before we begin, I just wanted to invite you to join our next course. So on popular demand, we are bringing back the zero to GANs course. A lot of you have taken the previous course. This was before the zero to pandas course. Uh, many of you haven't, uh, but we will be starting a new session of this um, soon, probably sometime in November. So you can enroll right now and we will reach out to you. And I've been your instructor. My name is Akash and I'm the CEO of Jovian.ml. And Jovian is a sharing and collaboration platform for data science uh, projects and Jupyter notebooks. And all the material for the course has been shared with you using Jovian. Now I have a few important announcements. Now the project evaluations are complete. So if you have submitted your course project, you can now go to the course page 02pandas.com and check the project page. On the project page, you should be able to see a pass or fail grade. Now, if you've received a pass grade in all the assignments and the project, then you will find that a certificate is issued on the course page and you will see a view certificate page and I'll walk you through it later. Um, but if you have not received a pass grade, if you have received a fail grade in any of the assignments, or if you have not been able to submit the project yet, we are accepting late submissions and resubmissions. So please submit again. Uh, fix the issues. You can uh, ask on the forum, you can reach out to us on email and you can fix the issues. Uh, and we will be evaluating it over the next few weeks and uh, rolling out the remaining certifications as well. Now, one thing you might want to do is add your full name on your profile. So just go to jovian.ml slash settings and enter your full name there. And once you enter your full name, we will regenerate your certificate for you. Now, I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank Bo Kans from freecodecamp.org. So as you've seen, we have been live streaming the videos for the lectures on the Free Code Camp YouTube channel. And uh, uh, this course would not have been possible. Uh, this was conceived in partnership between Jovian and Free Code Camp. So uh, Bo might probably join us during our call today. And we might, uh, and if, if he does, we will get to hear from him as well. So thanks Bo and thanks Quincy from Free Code Camp as well. Now I just wanna share a few statistics from the course. Um, these are some numbers in decreasing order and I'll let you guess what these are. So 428,000, this is the number of YouTube video views that the lectures and the office hours have gotten. Uh, so, and that is pretty amazing. We are really excited to see such a, 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 see such a huge uh, outreach of the course. But what's probably even more exciting is this number 300,000. Well, this is the number of notebook versions that were saved. So this is the number of times uh, you and everyone participating in the course has run jovian.commit. So a full 300,000 300, times. Then more than 21,000 assignment submissions over there. So uh, out of these about 18,000 were uh, about 17,000 were uh, assignments one, two, and three, and then another four, a little over 4,000 were course project submissions. And then we had 16,500 enrollment enrolled participants. So 16,000 participants enrolled for the course and they submitted 21,000 assignments. We had more than 12,000 forum posts. So there was a lot of activity on the forum. So I just want to thank everyone who has been active on the forum. Even if you've not posted, even if you've just been reading through the post, liking other people's posts, upvoting things. So thanks a lot. This course would not have been possible without the forum. And finally, this is the number we've been waiting for. So we have more than 2,500 graduates so far. And we are still evaluating some projects, some resubmissions. So this number can go higher, but this is pretty exciting uh, that out of 16,000, 2,500 uh, people have graduated. So if you've made the cut, 
Well, congrats to you. And uh, if you haven't, you still have a chance over the next week or two, you can still make the submissions. And this was a truly global community that we saw. We saw participants from over 170 countries taking part in this course. And we will get to hear from some of the participants uh, soon. And then finally, 11, this is the size of the course team. So on behalf of the entire course team, on behalf of the entire Jovian.ml team, I want to extend a big thank you to all of you for participating in this course and making it a great success. Uh, everyone on the team has been working tirelessly for the last six weeks. Uh, like the, the course has required uh, thousands of hours of effort uh, combined. So we're really excited to see such a great result and we're really excited to hear from you. But the course team is actually much bigger. What we've realized is that the reason we were able to run this course at such a large scale has been because of our forum MVPs. So I just want to call out a few people here. Um, Sebastian, Lakshay, Federico, Maria, Biraj, Himani, Michael, Mikhail, Clement and Wiley. Uh, thanks a lot, all of you for helping out on the forums. Every single question has been answered. I can, I'm, I, I, I go on the forum sometimes and I struggle to find questions that have not been answered. And this is really exciting to see people coming together from all over the world and helping each other out. And these are not the only people. Um, these are the people who have been most active, but I know there are thousands more uh, who have been reading the posts, who have been upvoting posts, who have been asking questions. So thank you for participating on the forum and keep doing that, please. Um, let's go over a very small selection of projects. So as I told you, there were about 4,000 project submissions. So out of those, I just want to show you a few. So one of the most popular topics was uh, Netflix movies and TV shows and an analysis of uh, the different kind of movies that Netflix has from different countries and uh, the different ratings they have and so on. We saw many different other kinds of analysis like YouTube channel analysis, YouTube trending videos analysis. We saw many examples of personal data being analyzed like WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp message data or uh, HR analytics uh, data. We saw some very interesting topics and some very relevant topics like um, an exploratory analysis of suicides in India, uh, an analysis of football matches in so I do not read Spanish, but I'm assuming this is a South American league. Um, the Indian Premier League, which is a cricket league, we, uh, this was a very popular topic where we saw uh, hundreds of projects, all very unique in their own way. Uh, we saw something on, uh, on blood donation. We saw analysis of crimes committed against women. So these are all really useful things. And I invite you to check out all of these. These are available on our um, Medium publication as well as on the forum. And we will send you the links where you can check them out. Then a few more, we saw analysis of restaurants on Zomato, which is a restaurant listing service like Yelp. We saw an analysis of air quality. We saw data science jobs being analyzed, football matches internationally uh, being analyzed. Um, Google Play Store apps was another uh, very interesting topic. A lot of projects on that. Uh, we saw analysis of movie genres from over, uh, from over I think 20,000 or so movies. Uh, another interesting one was Halloween candy flavors. So I've not included names here because a lot of these have projects have been done by many, many people. So um, I think we have to credit pretty much everyone and uh, that will involve thousands and thousands of names. Indian Premier League, as I said, was a very popular topic. Uh, we saw analysis of video game sales. We saw analysis of Counter-Strike games, PUBG games, and many other kinds of games. Uh, universities, there were many, many, many projects on COVID-19 and each of these analyses was interesting and unique in its own way. Either it was covering a different country or a different, um, or a different duration or presenting the information in a different light, or in this case, for example, showing it on a map. So all, all really great projects. And some more interesting ones were uh, solar eclipses, uh, anal analyzing the women in tech, uh, analyzing the stats of Pokemon. Well, which kind of po Pokemon is the strongest, which one, which type is the weakest. And one very interesting one was based on real world data where we, we, we saw a 
primary school teacher elementary school teacher analyzing data based on the virtual schooling that has been done during the pandemic so it was something you know this was actually real world data that was collected in the last few weeks and then uh, the data analysis was applied to it so yeah we are really excited and there are thousands more of these projects so just go to the course forum check out the course project thread and you will be able to find thousands more there so now i want to let you hear from the community so we reached out to some of you uh, some of you who are most active during the course and uh, worked on interesting projects so we reached out to you to share your story and we we received many many submissions so we received many many videos of people out of those videos unfortunately we had to select just a few so i will be showing a few right now and then i will be showing a few more at the end so please don't feel bad if we could not include your video because of uh, the time uh, but thanks a lot we really appreciate it and all the videos that you've shared we will be resharing on on our twitter and our linkedin and we invite you to just record a video if you haven't if we haven't reached out you can always record a video and share it on twitter if you want to uh, share your experience with us so to begin let's hear from salvador from peru hello everyone i am salvador hayson and i am 14 years old i'm from peru and i'm finishing my sophomore year in high school i started programming about a year ago when a teacher advised me to learn python I surfed the net for more Python utilities and came across this course. I decided to enroll because I realized that data analysis is an important area of programming which is applied in many fields. This course was really exciting and served to enhance my perspective on the importance of programming. What I learned from the course will be really useful for me in the future because I will undertake machine learning courses. Because all I mentioned, I want to thank the course team for the valuable lectures and assignments they provided. They are really useful for my future programming career. See you soon. Thank you, Salvador. It's uh, never too early to get started. Next up, we have Monica from India. Hi, everyone. I'm Monica from India. uh i have completed masters in uh, information systems we did learn about this course from free code camp really but it was all curiosity for how much popular the words python numpy and pandas are uh people talk about data analysis all the time and i wanted to be a part of that discussion and the best part about this course were the assignments uh which was a cool way to revise um and knowing that there are thousand others who are solving the same at that very same r posts from jovian forum and uh, frequent emails about their deadlines uh, were let's say interesting and is what kept us motivated the bad part about this um, whole course was the last lecture when we actually realized it is the last lecture i wanted to dive in more and more uh, that is what drive me through the course project um, next i would like to uh, pick up some more data sets which i passed by while searching for the one i wanted because um, no doesn't matter how much simpler the data sets are we always learn something new the puzzles i would like to solve um in the end i would like to thank akash sir and jovian team for our uh, interesting and wonderful experience thank you all very much thanks monica um i think she made a really good point that you should continue to work on projects i'm sure you may have found at least 10 data sets that were interesting so don't let that stop you just go go after it and try 10 data sets try different libraries try different approaches next up we have alain from canada hello everyone my name is alain ondes i'm a college professor here in toronto canada with a focus on analytics Way back, way back, I used to be a physics major, and I later ended up working in the IT IT field. And the enthusiasm that I saw and witnessed when I joined the IT field is exactly the same enthusiasm that I see today with the area of AI. And 
these courses are just wonderful because I, it keeps me on my toes and I'm developing in so many so many new ways and it's almost like picking up where I left off. So the Zero to Pandas course was a, it was a great addition to that thanks to the lovely help from Akash and the Jovian team. And this is this is something that that definitely was helpful because there's so many different sources of information related to Python, for example. But for me, what I, was important is to have a, a structure and something that I could look forward to, some specific assignments. The seminars were on the on the long side, I, I will admit, and I had to chop it up just to really follow through on the key lessons. I really enjoyed working through the notebooks as well as eventually working towards the, the, the course project. So for me, it's like coming back because I realize that I still have a, a lot, lot to learn. I feel that for example, concepts from linear algebra, things I'm going to go back to, multivariable calculus for some of you <laughs> who might look at that. But the good thing is that we can make wonderful progress with very little mathematical background, even though you're welcome to go back. And that would be my suggestion to everybody is, yes, it's good to have certificates. Again, for me, it also works as a motivating factor. But look beyond certificates and look at what it is that you can do and always keep focusing. And my suggestion for the good folks at Jovian is to focus on some specific worked out examples, worked out notebooks, because that was helpful to me. And by having those, those are going to be tremendous learning opportunities. So I hope that that helps everybody and looking forward to the next course. Take care. Thank you, Elaine. Welcome back to the field of data science and analytics. And uh, uh, your suggestions are well taken. Thank you. Next up, we have uh, Biraj, and Biraj was one of the most active people on the forum. Uh, you may have seen his username um, answering your question. So let's hear from him. Hey everyone, I am Biraj De, a third year computer science student from Future Institute of Engineering and Management, Kolkata, India. I have been following precorticum.org for a long time now. And from there, I came to know about Joven.ml platform. I started as a course participant in the previous course Deep Learning with PyTorch from Zero to GANs. There, I learned a lot about deep learning and machine learning. It was then I decided to pursue my career as a data scientist or an ML engineer. This is why I have been doing this new course on data science with Python from Zero to Pandas. I have worked on my course project for more than seven days and it has been really a very exciting experience for me as I have gave a lot of effort in my project. I have made a data analysis report on IPL matches from season 2008-2019. Hope you all will like my project. My friends and the forum have helped me a lot during this project work. And as a gratitude towards their help, I helped a few in the forum as well. It made me feel much more confident in my abilities and my knowledge and also made me happy as well. Obviously, I love our course instructor Akash's lectures a lot. It has been a pleasure to be a student under him. Next, I want to dig deep in this field of data science and machine learning. And I want to make my hands dirty with lots of new projects. I hope I'll get a lot of help and support from this community. And I'll be waiting for another interesting course in this field from Jovian.ml platform. Thank you all. Thank you, Akash sir. Stay happy. Stay safe. Goodbye. Thank you, Biraj. Next, we have Rokio from Cuba. Hello, everyone. My name is Rocio. I am from Havana, Cuba. Um, two years ago, I graduated as computer scientist. Right now, I am teacher and researcher at University of Havana. I knew about this, co this course through LinkedIn. I had a friend that attended the um, Zero to Guns course. She were um, sharing uh, a lot of materials and posts related to that course. So I registered on the Jovian ML platform and I started following the news of uh, this community. Uh, absolutely, what I liked the most of the course was the evolution system. This system not only evaluate the content, but also saw us to share of knowledge, to work together, to help those uh, who had some problems 
and uh, be like a family. To tell you the truth, um, the classes uh, seem to be very long. Uh, to do that, uh, I was distracted in some occasions and maybe I lost some clarifications. But this is not important. The important is that the course helped me uh, increase uh, my knowledge about the um, data analysis and also complements my uh, my profile like a data scientist, what is that I really like. I will be uh, waiting for new courses uh, at the platform, um, absolutely. I will recommend to everyone uh, this great community, yeah? Thank you, thank you, Rocio. Next up, we have uh, Michael from Malaysia. And Michael was also really active on the forum. Uh, so thank you a lot, Michael, for helping everyone. Hi, everyone from Jovia Amal Committees. My name is Michael. I live in Malaysia and currently pursuing a bachelor degree in Enterprise Information System at Nongkuo Dharma University College. So first thing first, I want to thank Jovia Amal for having me here today. So second thing is that most of people ask me, uh, what brought you to this course, right? So uh, the first course I take is from Java ML is called the Deep Learning Zero to Gain. From there, I learned a lot of how to train my own model, how to build my own CNN, everything, the concept of deep learning and everything. And the first problem that I face is data pre-processing and then the data, data preparation. It's very hard for me to understand because I'm not from data science background. And yeah, then fortunately, Java ML did provide the data analytic with Python. And I got very interesting on it and I read through the outline and everything. Then uh, I decided to take this initiative, you know, to go and learn what is it about. And in the end, I did not regret it. I did enjoy it, even though I have busy on my assignment and everything. And the third thing is that, what is the best course experience I have? Uh, I will say the Jovin ML communities. The, the community is getting larger and larger every day, you know. People, I see people are willing to help each other. Like, as long as you're willing to learn, no matter what field are you in, or you are not in technical field or data science field, as long as you ask questions and there's people there to help you. Uh, yeah, and then you try your best. And I would say that Jove ML community is getting bigger and bigger. And I love the, the atmosphere in Jove ML community's people. And in the end, uh, what's my future plan? So basically, uh, I will try to do more side projects and apply whatever I learn and teach another in blog pros. So yeah, that's that's it for me. And I hope you guys enjoy the course and thank you. Thank you, Michael. We enjoyed your post on your WhatsApp data analysis and we're looking forward to many more from you. Next, let's hear from Catherine from Canada. Hello everyone. My name is Catherine Zhang. I'm living in Canada. I'm currently working as automation engineer in Vancouver. Data science is rapidly evolving and exciting field, which also brought me a lot of tension. I've been searching for a starting point for a while. When I found the Zero to Pandas this course, I definitely decided to take it. It was a wonderful journey. I learned so much from these eight weeks where scheduled lectures and also where doing my assignments. In my opinion, the excitement in the data science is to discover, find the insights, and being innovated. Data science allows people to try various ideas using scientific methods. For me, to be a data scientist is not only my wish, also my goal. I will keep working on it in my future. I really enjoyed this course. Thank you, Akashi, for the lectures. And thank you for the team who are making the time for our questions. And also thanks to everyone in the community for supporting. Next up, we have Aris from Greece. Hello, everyone. 
everyone, my name is Aris, I'm coming from Greece and for the past three years I have been living in Sweden where I'm studying towards my PhD degree. Being a PhD student involves a lot of data analysis, so I have some experience working with Python already. Uh, that being said, data analysis can be very challenging, so I came to this course in order to improve the way that I'm analyzing my data. Overall, now that the course is over, I feel that it was a great opportunity for me uh, both to refresh some things in my memory, but also to learn new ways to analyze and present my data. I'm really happy that I got the opportunity to work with the Seaborn library, which was uh, something new for me, and I find it very interesting and some, something very useful in order to prepare uh, infographics to share and illustrate your data to other people. So for the future, I'm planning to use the tools that I learned in this course, both for my studies, but also for some project ideas that I have. Uh, thank you everyone in Jovian.ml and thank you Akas for putting all the effort behind running this course. And uh, I'm looking forward to see you in the next one. Thank you, Aris. So um, before we hear from Marcelo, we have Bo Kans from Free Code Camp who's just joined us. So um, maybe we can hear from Bo. Hi, Bo, if you're there, please feel free to unmute yourself. Hello, everybody. Yeah, uh, I'm Bo from Free Code Camp. Um, I, the only thing I help up with this course is just uh, organizing everything. I run the free the YouTube channel, and uh, it was uh, really a, a Kash and Vigel that did what was you know did did most of the work. But I want to congratulate everybody for uh, completing the course. Um, as I'm, I'm sure you guys are aware, um, data science and data analysis, and this uh, is a very, very hot field right now, and there's a lot of, a lot of job opportunities. So I really think that uh, the content you learn in this course is going to be really helpful uh, for your career in the future. And I know it's uh, some of the, the coursework was, was pretty challenging. So I just want to uh, congratulate everyone for uh, sticking through it, uh, not giving up. Um, a lot of people just start and then never finish, but the people here are the ones that, that uh, stuck through the whole thing and, and got everything done. So congratulations and, and just good luck on your, on your future learning and your future job opportunities. Great, thanks both. Thanks a lot for joining. And uh, it's great to have your support. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I was, we were glad to, to host this course just because it's such a great course. Great, thank you. So um, let's, let's hear from Marcelo next. Hi, my name is Marcelo. I'm 42 years old. I'm from Uruguay and I work as a Linux system administrator. I'm also a, a programmer. I do some C and automate some of my workflow with Bash and Python. I read about this course in Reddit, more specifically in a subreddit for Python enthusiasts, and I decided to take the course. I have always been interested in data science, and this course has, has met my expectations wildly. It's been an amazing six weeks, and I'm so grateful to Akash and to the entire team. The dedication that you guys have put into the course, as well as in the forums, is something that it's not seen very often in free courses, even in some paid ones. So, what's next? Well, I'm planning to take a PyTorch course and then continue deeper into data science and artificial intelligence. And that's all. Again, Thank you very, very much for all. Keep safe, take care, and see you around. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Marcelo. And uh, when we have one more from, I, I hope I'm pronouncing the name right, Tochuku from Nigeria. Hi, guys. Good morning. My name is Tochuku Kone from Nigeria. I'm also a student currently working, but hopefully soon. Um, what brought me to this course? Okay. Initially, it was when I started working on my final year project in school, which was actually to build a recommender system. So I didn't know how to go about it. But I started researching on it and I discovered that I needed a 
data science skill, programming skill, and also some machine learning skill, and how to use the Pandas library, the scikit-learn library, and the NumPy library. So after making so many researches, I started um, taking, I enrolled on AUTC um, um, free um, this thing course on Coursera, which is All Tech University Congress. So after enrolling, I took some classes on Coursera, and they were great. They were great classes, but I felt I needed more, you know, more practical environment where I could actually interact with people, real people, and actually ask questions and everything. I didn't have that on Coursera, so that was how I discovered um, Jovin ML from on YouTube. Then I enrolled, and I also discovered that they were offering a um, free certificate. I needed a certificate, honestly. Yeah. But given the pandemic and all, I knew I needed like you know focus on other things since everything was shut down in the country. So I needed to up my data science skill level, and that was how I enrolled. And my experience from the course, ninety percent of it were great, like they were good, because I already had a um, Python experience beginner to intermediate little bit intermediate yeah and I also knew how to use the pandas library I also knew a little bit about the circuit line library and the NumPy library so they were all great except my project where I had a little bit of issue but that was not a big deal at all after seeing Akash and his project I had to go back and rectify mine so what other plans do I have well I, the plans I have is actually working on more project and working with people with with building a team that are, that can actually build stuff that can actually help you know the masses because I am from Nigeria and I take can actually go a long way for my country so that's the actually that's the goal I have at hand now. Great, thanks Tochuku. And we have a couple more of uh, the community stories, and then we have some really exciting announcements to share with you. Hello, my name is Mariha. I'm from Bangladesh. I'm a student currently taking a master's in oceanography. Uh, I remember I was in Ejuroka website, taking attending different webinars as I was checking uh, online. I was always checking online for different courses, and as well as in YouTube channel, uh, to, uh, taking free lectures. Then I stumbled upon this uh, course saying happening on uh, August 15, and I was there. And uh, for the course experience, it's all good uh, to have met some experienced people who have helped me to learn a uh, lot in the short period. And uh, I want to thank each and each and every individual of, the, of this community, um, especially Akasa, uh, uh, to have taken such an initiative to, to, to teach young learners like us. And uh, uh, it's gonna play a big, big role in my career for sure. And uh, hopefully, I'll carry on my learning. And my next target to learn is R programming and SQL for the same purpose. I'm here now for my study and my research work. Uh, uh, that's it. Good luck for the future, everyone. Take care. Thank you, Maria. And uh, all the best to you as well. And finally, let's hear from Mikhail from Italy. Mikhail was also really active on the forum. So thank you, Mikhail, for helping everyone out. Hi, everyone. Uh, I am Mikhail. And foremost, I would like to say thank you to Akash and the Julian Hamel team. You guys did an amazing job. And I'm also so glad to have the opportunity to share my personal experience with all of you guys. So um, I'm from Italy. I am a former data analyst, but I've always felt for the programmatic language of uh, Python. And my passion was what drove me to try this experience. Actually, this is not the uh, first course I attended with JovianML. I also attended the uh, Zero to GANs with PyTorch course, which I definitely recommend to you guys if you are into the world of machine learning and if you want to know more about the topic. Regarding this course, um, I had a great time. It was an amazing experience. I'm extremely satisfied because the explanations were always clear. Um, we had assignments, the opportunity to try out what we uh, were learning during class, and the office hours were bonus. But the um, 
personally, the, the best part was um, the course project because in that way um, we had to start a data science task from scratch and now we have a project to showcase a project in our portfolio and it's useful during interviews and it's nice to have one uh, my future plans are to um, keep studying exploring the world of data science and also machine learning and find a way to use these um, skills in my jobs Finally, I would also say that um, I enjoyed so much sharing my ideas and discussing with all of you guys on forum and definitely I hope uh, to keep doing so. So let's say tuned with Chilean ML and cheers from Italy. Thank you, Mikhail. And I just want to thank everybody who has shared their stories. And uh, the reason we wanted to show you these stories was um, just to just to show you that there are people from all over the world, all walks of life, uh, students, professionals, um, everybody just learning on their own and uh, finding finding a community. And I think that's the most important thing here. That if you are passionate uh, about learning, and uh, so then there is a community for you: the Jovian ML community, the Free Code Camp community. So I really want to thank everyone who shared their stories. We have a few more stories that will be at the very end uh, because we received a lot of uh, videos from you. And I also re uh, want to once again thank Bo Kans and Quincy Larson from Free Code Camp because uh, you know this was a course we could not have done without them. All the videos were live streamed on the Free Code Camp YouTube channel. So we're really glad. And you should go and check out freecodecamp.org as well. Uh, there's an entire learning path that you can follow there too. Now, uh, I just want to give you a sneak peek of what's coming, what we, the Jovian uh, ML team is working on and what you should do next. Now, we are going to launch, a lot of you have asked if we can do a self-paced version of the course. So we are launching a self-paced version of data analysis with Python, uh, Zero to Pandas, the course that you just did. So if you have not been able to complete uh, any of the assignments or the course project, you can make a submission now. Um, once you know, once the um, self-paced course launches, all of your progress will be carried over. If you want to share with your friends, you can just share the link zero to pandas.com with your friends. And if they want to work through the course, they can do that as well. We will still be having some live sessions uh, with deadlines, but uh, we just wanted to leave it open for anybody to work uh, on. And all the assignments will be evaluated using the automated system and the course project will be evaluated man manually by us, just as we have done. So that's one thing. Uh, do share, do invite people to join the course. And I invite you to join our next course. So uh, we have this course called Deep Learning with PyTorch and Deep Learning is sort of at the very forefront of uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning, something that powers everything from self-driving cars to Google Autocomplete um, to a lot of applications in healthcare. So uh, do join our course. This will be starting sometime in November. We are still putting together all the materials. And a lot of you have asked, you know, that you want to do the next, you want to take the next steps in data science and machine learning. So over the next several months, we are designing and adding six new courses to create an end to end learning path from data science. So all the way from the very basic mathematics, basic foundations for data science and machine learning to uh, doing um, data analysis, which you just did machine learning with Python, uh, deep learning, natural language processing, taking machine learning models to production and even a data science and machine learning job readiness bootcamp, because I know a lot of you are looking to make a career transition. So we want to help you out there in whatever way we can, which is by helping you create a portfolio, helping you present your projects the best way, create a resume, create a LinkedIn profile, apply for jobs and get uh, a practice uh, for interviews. So a lot of exciting stuff coming up. And if you're interested in data science and if you've liked the experience so far, do stay tuned and we will uh, reach out to you via email whenever these things are ready. And you can keep an eye out on jovian.ml slash learn. And I also want to just remind you, we've launched a mentorship program to help you advance your career. So if you're looking for more guidance, more dedicated support, then you can go to jovian.ml slash mentorship and then apply to be a part of the mentorship program. This is a paid limited and exclusive program. And, um, so it's only $49 a month. And what you get as part of it 
is a a one on one guidance on project planning and review you also get access to weekly office hours for question and answers um whether the course is running or not whatever project you're working on what even if you're taking a course somewhere else you can ask us for help you can get you get access to a private slack group where um we will answer your questions within a very short time um we have dedicated assistant course course tas and assistants who will help out um, on priority on the slack group and um, it's also designed to help you move forward in your career so you will get a resume and linkedin profile review so we've been running this for a couple of months now and we've been working closely with the participants to make sure that their resume perfectly reflects all the great projects that they've done and their linkedin profile is um is is structured in a way that can be find uh, that can be found easily by recruiters and uh, looks attractive for a data science role and finally one last thing that we're doing is we are starting a monthly demo day so we will be inviting some of the best projects from this course and from our previous course and we will invite you to give a 5 minute or 10 minute presentation uh, and we will do this once every month and uh, we are planning to invite recruiters and uh, uh, other people working in the industry to join the to join the presentation so they will be able to give you feedback and if they like your projects they will be able to reach out to you uh, to offer you uh, an internship or a job uh, interview right so we want to provide a platform to the community to get uh, to get to get hired to get an internship on move forward in their career so a lot of interesting things uh, have been planned and all of this comes under the mentorship program subscription Uh, and we will be sharing more details soon but uh, you know for if you are looking for something with more dedicated guidance do uh, do apply now we have a waitlist so we will reach out to you as soon as we work through the waitlist so that's what we are working on um, you know we are busy for the next several months preparing all of these things for you and uh, in the meantime you know you might be wondering what do you do next now that you've done you're done with this course now the first thing you should do is you should have received a certificate and you should take this certificate and add it on your linkedin profile so let me just show you how to do that so you can go to the course uh, page or the jovian ml learn page so if you go to jovian.ml click on learn uh, here you will be able to find the course zero to pandas you can also directly open zero to pandas.com just a second uh, let me share my screen yeah so you can go to the course page zero to pandas.com and on this page if you have received a certificate you will see a view certificate button so when you click the view certificate button this will take you to the certificate page so this is the verified link for the certificate jovian.ml/certificate and uh, then you have the certificate id and it contains your name and a link to your profile so you can just share this verified link wherever you want to in fact and this certificate mentions that uh, you have completed data analysis with python 0 to pandas and we certify here that you this represents approximately 60 hours of coursework now i know a lot of you have put in a lot more uh, there are some who have put in 60 hours just into the project but this is the average so you know your project in some sense speaks for itself so when you share the certificate along with your project that will automatically reflect the amount of effort you have put in and this is signed by me and by bo from free code camp um and now you can download the certificate in a pdf format or if you want to share it online let's say you want to share it on twitter and we highly recommend that you do just to celebrate your achievement all the great work that you've done so just click on the share on twitter button and um i am just going to share this certificate which i have conveniently awarded to myself um but yeah you will be able to share your certificate on twitter and on linkedin and even on other platforms or you can just download it or just copy this link so that's about the certificate now you can also add the certificate on your linkedin profile so i just want to show you how to do that so you just let's just go to linkedin.com and on linkedin go to your profile and on your profile you if you come down you see there should be a section called licenses and certifications 
So you can click on this plus button here on licenses and certifications, and you you can put in the name. So uh, this was data analysis with Python zero to pandas, and you can put in the organization Jovian dot ML, and you can click this credential does not expire. And the month of issue is well, it's October, but it's mentioned on the certificate, so you can grab it from the certificate. You can see here it says October, and the year is 2020, and the certificate does not expire. Now you can take the link and paste this link in the credential URL, and you can take the last part of the link and paste it in credential ID. And then all you need to do is just click save. So that's it. Now you this is added on your profile. And now and whenever somebody visits your LinkedIn profile, they will be able to see the certificate here. And they will be able to click through and access your profile. Yeah, they will be able to click through and access uh, access the certificate from your LinkedIn profile. Yeah, the C credential button takes you to the certificate page. So please do that. Um, and you can always ask on the forum if you're facing issues with adding your certificate. Well, I guess the other thing that so that's one thing, which is sharing your certificate online. And then next is to update your Jovian.ml profile. So we have made some interesting changes to the Jovian profile so that it becomes your portfolio for all your data science work, something that you can proudly showcase. I'm just going to show you that right now. So if you come to Jovian.ml or if you're logged out, you can just go to uh, www.jovian.ml and click on my profile or sign in. And now you will see a new tab here. You will see a tab called overview. So now this overview tab reflects all the activity that you've been doing and you can curate it to show the things that you want. So if you go in the overview tab, you will see featured notebooks and you can feature up to six notebooks on your profile and you will see featured collections. So you can feature up to six collections on your profile and you will see a full activity, a list of activities. So all the activity that you've done so in some sense, the overview tab of your profile becomes a history of all the data science work that you've been doing. So all the work that you've done over the past six weeks will show up on the overview tab. Now, if you want to feature notebooks from your profile, simply go to the notebooks tab and then click on the menu here and click pin. So you will see a pin option here, pin notebook. Now, in my case, I've already pinned six notebooks. So that's why you're not seeing it, but let me unpin a notebook here. And then let me pin a notebook here once again. So in this way, you can pin notebooks. You can go to the collections tab and you can create new collections of notebooks. So if you have a series of notebooks that you want to showcase together, then you can showcase them in a collection. So this is what a collection looks like. And then you can pin collections. So you can just go to collection and then say pin. And that is going to pin the collection. And then that is going to show the collection on your overview. Now we are also going to show your certificates on the overview. So any courses that you've taken, the certificates will be linked from here. And we are also adding a bio section so that you will be able to add a bio and add some description about yourself. Uh, you can also add your social accounts. So if you just click on this edit profile button, so on this edit profile button, you can add your full name, you can change your profile photo and uh, you can select your organization and your role. Uh, we will also we are also adding support to add your Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn and other profile links, even your resume link and a website. And finally, you see this, uh, you can see that each of the notebooks that are listed here on the overview tab and on the notebooks tab now have a preview. So if you have if you put up an interesting image and a title at the top of your notebook, now that will show up here. Uh, otherwise, the code will show up here. So make use of this preview to give your viewers a sneak peek of what's uh, going on and this this preview is also going to be visible when you share this notebook link on your uh, on your social profiles so for example if you go to a notebook and then you click share and tweet it out you 
the same preview will show up here too. So in this way, we are making a lot of interesting improvements to the Jovian platform to make sure that it is the best place for you to uh, store and showcase and share your data science projects. So please do keep your jo Jovian profile up to date. And then how do you continue learning? Well, I will recommend that you work on more interesting projects. As I said, you may have come across many more data sets that you found interesting. So do try and work on those projects as well. And a good rule of thumb would be to try and at least create or update one notebook every week. So it's during the, for the duration of the course, it's easy to follow because we have deadlines and we have a video lecture every week. But once the course ends, we often see that we do not see a lot of other activity. So till the next course starts, just uh, try and work on a, one interesting projects, maybe four to five hours a week. And that is good enough and keep putting it up on your Jovian profile. And then later on, when you're making a transition to data science, when you're applying for an internship, um, people will be able to see your progress over time. Another very important thing is to write blog posts, tutorials and guides. And this is very important because blog posts and tutorials, they, what you do is you try to explain what you have learned to somebody else. And when you try to do that, you have to really clarify your thinking. So that improves your understanding. So the zero to GAN, uh, zero to GANs and zero to pandas courses actually began as series of blog posts. So we started writing blog posts and then those blog posts um, caught on. And then we thought, okay, let's convert this into a course. So you never know today you might write a blog post and then uh, a year later you might be teaching a course on machine learning. So that's one suggestion. I, I think it can have a huge impact on your learning. Keep improving your professional profile. Any project that you do, always put it up online, whether you, you can put it on Jovian, you can put it on GitHub, you can put it elsewhere, write a blog. Um, just make, make sure that you have a public portfolio because today it is not just enough to list things in your resume. It is important that you showcase what you've done. People should be able to click through and find your projects and read through them. And uh, whenever you're doing this, make sure that you're documenting your work well, putting your best foot forward because any public project that you create will be evaluated by potential employers as the quality of work that you will do once you join their company. So that's a very important thing to keep in mind. And the last thing I, I've made, this is the last thing because the first three are really important. You should do as much and do as work on as many projects as possible and only then move on to doing next courses. And that is why we have a, a decent gap between our courses as well, because we want you to really focus on the course project. So um, in terms of the courses that you can take next, you can take more data science courses to complement the things that you've learned in this course. You can try exploring another language like R, although you don't have to, or you can move forward in your journey and learn machine learning. So uh, there are many great machine learning course on, courses online and we are planning to launch a few courses as well. So um, do check out some machine learning courses. And once again, for, with each of these, make sure to build projects, make sure to write blog posts and make sure to put them on your public profiles. Now, I just want to close uh, end by just talking a little bit about the opportunity that is there in data science. And we're all here because we are excited by data science and we feel passionate about it. And we are all from different fields, different streams, but we've seen that, okay, when you take some code and then you apply it to data and use these libraries like NumPy and Pandas, you can get some really interesting insights out of data. And that's a very useful thing as well. Um, it is very interesting in itself, but it's also a really useful thing. It's a useful thing. And it is so useful that it is expected that in just the next five years, there are 20 million new jobs in data science and machine learning that are going to be created because every company is now becoming a digital company. Every company is moving online. All the all you, customer data is getting digitized. Uh, all uh, school data, university data, any data that you can think of, your own health data, your personal data, everything is getting digitized. And because of that, it opens up a huge opportunity for analysis and prediction. So in this course, we've learned about data science, uh, data analysis. And the next step is prediction using machine learning and deep learning, which we will learn in future courses. So if you are excited by this field, and uh, so I think this is a great time to enter the field. The next five years are just going to see an explosive growth in the field, probably the highest since uh, the growth in software development in the early 2000s. 
So yeah, um, just keep at it. And um, hopefully the Jovian community will be, the Jovian community is there to support you. And hopefully all of us, the 30,000 of us today will become a hundred thousand and then a few million. And then all of us will be in the data science domain and will be professionals. Uh, so that's our, that's our mission and we are here to support you in every step of the way. And to have this opportunity, the community is a really important aspect as we've heard in all the stories that uh, we heard today. Um, and there are so many great communities online and the more the better. So, you know, we do not think that there is any competition between communities because if 20 million people are entering the field, then there's no, not going to be one size fits all. So there's free code camp, there's Jovian, there's Kaggle, there's Twimmel, analytics with the fast AI, open data science, take your pick, you know, whatever works best for you. There are many boot camps out there. Uh, there are many books out there. So everyone has their own style. Everyone has their own uh, commitments in life. Um, so you no, know, just find the community. That's the most important thing. Find a set of like-minded people who have similar goals, who want to see you succeed and will celebrate your success and understand what the understand the targets that you have. And it's not just important to find a community, but it's very important to become integrated into it because a community is incomplete without you, unless you contribute. And there are many ways to contribute. You can contribute by asking questions or answering questions or just uh, liking um, posts or uh, creating tutorials, creating examples, um, giving feedback, whatever you can think of, you know, as long as you are moving forward and then you are giving back, that is a great way to just stay engaged with the community and make sure we all learn and grow together. Um, so with that, I'll invite you once again to join our next course on zero to gans.com to learn deep learning with us. Uh, we have some pretty exciting new material planned there for you too. And um, that's pretty much it. That's what we have for you today. So thank you for joining the graduation party. Thank you for joining the course. Uh, you can follow Free Code Camp on Twitter and you can follow Jovian ML on Twitter and you can follow Akash me on Twitter as well. Uh, I will also invite you to just uh, like uh, this video on YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are planning to do a lot more on YouTube now. Um, especially between courses, we're planning to release new videos every week. Uh, so please do subscribe and uh, invite your friends to subscribe as well. And before we close, I just want to show you a few more community stories. If you want to stick around and hear from some of the other members of the community. So here we have Nicholas from Colombia. Hi, my name is Nicholas Benavides. I'm from Bogota, Colombia. Uh, before this course, I was doing a digital marketing freelance works. Uh, for many years, I had the intention of learning to program, but every time I start, I was feared because it seemed so complex to achieve it. And every attempt, I just quit it. Uh, this course was basic to break this personal fear and fuel me just to begin. I decided to move on and not to stay in the first onion layer of computational knowledge. I decided to go further. Uh, I realized again, you know, life is 90% effort and persistence. Uh, the rest is uh, question time, no matter how complex it looks like. Uh, I really enjoyed every lecture because it increased my curiosity. Uh, in my opinion, the best symptom that you are on the right track is the level of curiosity um, that you are so curious about what you are doing. Um, even so, the problem has already been solved. Uh, I'm really committed to myself to make an in incremental path career. Uh, I want to become a data analyst expert. And doing these courses uh, confirms again I'm making good decisions, even quitting um, a part time job I had. Um, I really hope you continue this kind of courses because you create uh, an extraordinary community. I'm part of two Discord um, groups and we help each other. Uh, just to achieve our professional or even personal goals. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity. Bye. Thank you, Nicholas, for that heartfelt message. And uh, thanks a lot for helping out on uh, the Juvin community and also on the Discord communities you're part of. 
Next up, we have Shreyas from India. Warm greetings to all my viewers. This is Shreyas Strategy. I am from IIT Jammu. I would like to share my experience with Jovian. It was a really wonderful course. I really don't have any negative comments regarding it. Uh, it was very informative and I very ideally paced for all the all the students. How I got into the course was my interest in uh, ML and AI. I was searching for courses uh, in Python. Obviously, YouTube is there, but a much more guided course with a project experience and things like that is very much. Uh, uh, look for uh, uh, by the students but uh, I got to know about jo uh, Jovian from one of my friends only and they said that uh, they had taken the previous course uh, and liked it very much so I decided to take this uh, I would like to uh, say that each and every module had very well distributed topics and uh, the time given was uh, like just fine Although there is one thing which I would like to say is that if, if a student is doing a course, he and he or she should definitely maintain the deadline. So the repeated extension of deadlines were, uh, were probably avoidable by Jovian. But overall, a great effort by Jovian and Akasa definitely. He's a wonderful teacher. And um, that's about it. My uh, next, what I'm planning to do is again search for such courses and maybe continue with Jovian itself if they bring out another um, may, many more such courses. Now I'm a little bit busy with the online semester and I'm, I'm, and I'm sure that many students are. So maybe it will be a little dip, little difficult, but uh, I'm sure we'll we'll cope up. And that's about it. Thank you so much uh, again to Jovi and Anna Kasha. Thank you, Shreyas. Next, we have Auchuba from India. Hello, everyone. My name is Auchuba Jamir, and I teach high school students in Kohima, Nagaland, India. Um, I come to know the course from YouTube channel, channel um, Free Good Camp, and the course has been amazing. I just tried it out for, uh, I tried it with the lecture videos. I find it very helpful the way our instructor, Sir Agash, teaches and how he is into, you know, uh, repetition and all the details on how to commit the Jovian and everything. It, it was really uh, easy for me to learn as a beginner, beginner and it's been a uh, helpful learning and I've learned even how to teach to other uh, to others mm, through the tutorials not just uh, uh, not, not just on Python not just on you know how to do the uh, data analysis but how he teaches and how clearly he teaches uh, I really wanted to do a course on data analysis analysis and this has been wonderful learning for me and I look forward to teach my students as well in schools and you know and get to know uh, and let them learn about programming as well uh, with the basics that I've learned and I look forward to using even the Joven ML platform even in the days to come and try out some more um, real data analysis uh, projects. Thank you so much. Thank you, Achuba. Um, we hope your students can um, use the Joven platform as well. You can you, you're free to use the Joven platform to, for teaching as well. Thank you. Next, we have Saurav. Hello guys, this is Saurav Roy. I am a biotechnologist by profession and I took this uh, data analysis with uh, zero to partners uh, using Python and from Jovian ML. And overall, I would like to say uh, thank you very much Jovian ML for letting me, uh, for uh, helping me with this training and the courses were really good with all different uh, levels of difficulties uh, throughout the weeks as we move along and uh, I got to understand the basic concepts of data analysis uh, regarding uh, I mean including but not limited to the different rates mean mod, mod median and everything everything else
is and how to you know what to look for uh, while doing a, while looking at a data set and uh, we also uh, i was also taught uh, exploratory data analysis and then later i was uh, given a project for doing the same which helped, which by the way helped me to you know understand a lot of concept which uh, you know which can be only under which can only be understood by learning and relearning so there was that and overall i'd like to say it's a really good course for beginners uh, who have you know uh, absolutely no uh, knowledge of python because i was a beginner and i had no knowledge of python from there to what uh, what i have understood what i have done what i have un uh, you know i can do i think that's a pretty good uh, pretty decent uh, amount of uh, analytics i can perform all by myself uh, I would like to add something more that is uh, this is like one of a kind course and this is really good. I was uh, taught different kind of visualizations and uh, uh, using different modules which is uh, for from my standpoint is a very precious thing to me uh, somebody from biofield and I'd, in future I would like to you know extrapolate the skills and incorporate them into my own field of biotechnology. So that Next, we have Otavio from Brazil. Well, hi guys from jovian.ml. Uh, I'm Otavio. I'm from Amazonia in Brazil. Uh, I'm an environmental engineer student. And first of all, sorry for my English because I don't speak so well like this. Well, what brought me to course was uh, in this pandemic quarantine, uh, <clears throat> I was searching for something to study and, and and data science was in my landscape, and I, I very want to to study it more. And Jovian.ml, I, I found it in freecodecamp.com, uh, in YouTube, and well, I I see it was a, a very good, very good course to to enroll. So I started. I started two weeks later, and Mr. Akash, thanks for all the the deadline days that you that you get later. So. Thanks for this. Uh, well, I learned a lot at course. Uh, all my experiences were very good. I I almost never watched the 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 class in the same day, but the fact that we recorded YouTube helped a lot. So thank you for this. And my next step, uh, I want to to improve my data my data scientist skills. I bought some books. <laughs> I, I'm waiting for here to 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 get delivered in my home. So I'm very thankful you, you all. Data science is a is a great skill to to know today. Um, I'm environmental engineering, so my all my projects were uh, addressed to environmental. So I'm very thankful. It's a skill that uh, I will lose. I will use a lot. Thank you. Thanks, Otavio. Uh, and indeed, data science is a very interdisciplinary skill, and you can see applications of it in a lot of different domains. So um, yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a good thing to, to learn. Next up, we have Sayantan from India. Hi, everyone. I'm Shantan Pal, and I'm currently pursuing computer science engineering from Kolkata, West Bengal. So how did I come to know about Jovian, right? Uh, one day I was searching uh, some materials related to PyTorch and I came across a YouTube video offered by FreeCodeCamp so which was uh, 9.5 hours long. It was so much interesting, you know, because uh, the topics covered in PyTorch was so amazing. So I gradually checked their channel out, jovian.ml and uh, there I found a course was going on from zero to pandas and I checked the syllabus out which was very interesting to me because they had covered everything from scratch like from the basics of Python to a certain level where you can make your own data analysis project. So everything was good about that uh, project actually, the course offered by them. So I gradually learned a lot about NumPy which I previously didn't uh, know because the the approach they had taken, uh, the assignments they had gave was so much interesting to me. Uh, I explored more and more into NumPy and Pandas. It was very much exciting for me. And uh, the final project which they gave was completely our choice. I had made a project on uh, Pokemon data analysis, which was very interesting to me. And I hope you guys, uh, if you see that, uh, would equally like it. Uh, I had used a lot of stuff uh, which they had taught. And the main portion which excited 
me the most was the visual portion the which i have uh, created using the matplotlib and the cbon libraries uh, and i feel whenever a beginner uh, starts to see that notebook uh, they will be equally excited and they will uh, try to learn more because they will understand those graphs and uh, heat maps easily even if they don't understand the the text section uh, which is obvious in the jupyter notebook but still they will they will get a uh, hold of those graphs uh, so i feel the approach they have taken is uh, very amazing and one of the thing which uh, i am planning is i am planning my future on uh, natural language processing and i would love to see a course on natural language processing specifically if it's sentiment analysis it, it would be great uh, actually now it is alexa google assistant and uh, siri everything is based on lp and uh, it would be great that if if they make a course uh, related to this field thank you everybody have a great data career data science career ahead um, bye guys thank you santhan and we really enjoyed your project on uh, pokemon and yeah we will be having a course on natural language processing soon and next we have ritika also from india hello everyone i am ritika singh and i am from noida i am working with landis and gear as a software developer and i have worked on multiple languages languages throughout my one and a half years of experience but i got hooked with python because of its simplicity and flexibility so i started to explore different courses and in between i got to know about this course through a friend who did jovian.ms previous course which was on deep learning and what i really liked about this course is its structure of with uh, with all assignments and course projects what happens with other online uh, course uh, courses is that there will not be any assignment or projects to work on while going through the course so i really like the hands on experience of this course and i am planning to make a nice blog post of what i have learned while doing my course project thank you thank you ritika and we look forward to your blog post next we have manish hello friends my name is manish tiwari from noida i am pursuing btech from iith kanpur in stream of information technology I'm a great fond of data science and its technologies and always wanted to become a data science in future. Data analysis is the fundamental part of data science. Data analysis is all about getting insights from the data and use this information to make decisions. And that brought to me this course. Data analysis is Python 0 to Pandas. The course structure is completely beginner friendly. They start from with the basic concepts of Python and ended up with advanced visualizations in Python. The best thing about this course is this course is not only about theoretical concepts. In each lecture, we get practical explanation of each and every topic. And after each lecture, we have to submit the assignment, which enhance our skills in the particular field. At the end of the course completion, we have to submit a project, which enhance our practical skills. Up that. how in industry these things are work in my case i make a fifa 19 data analysis web application using stream data library python concept that is studied that i read throughout the course and heroku for deployment the doubt solving throughout the course is totally amazing whether we tackle any problem we just write the problem in google in the for, course forum and akash sir and his fellow mates help gives the solution within 2 on 3 hours so that our concept conceptual thinking and problem solving skills enhance i am looking forward for such more courses in by jovian and akashar now after the this course completion i am looking forward for more internship in this field so that i am able to enhance more skills and pursue this as my career thanks thank you manish and um, we really enjoyed your course project as well next we have nanda hi my name is nandu kumar i'm from chennai i'm doing a masters in machine design and mechanical engineering in iit madras uh, i've been using python for quite some time uh, but i never explored the full capacity and capabilities of python and uh, zero to pandas the data analysis course in python was a stepping stone for that actually uh, i was so surprised to know and fascinated to like know the libraries like cbon and the capabilities of pandas and how data frames can be efficiently used to store huge amount of data and can do data manipulations with that so i am deeply indebted to akash and the jovian and the, the whole team who put together such a brilliant series and uh, i would sincerely love to be a part of the future course as well thank you thank you nanda we hope to see you on the future courses as well uh, next we have constantinos from greece Oh. Hi. Hi. 
Hi. So, um, hello, Jovina Mel. My name is Kostadinos Albertos. I live in Athens, Greece. And uh, at the moment, I am an IT tech, confer IT tech conference guy. And in general, I work with IT. I've been a system integrator. I've been working with cloud technologies, more on the tech side, less on the programming side. Uh, what brought me to this course? Well, uh, I'm also doing my PhD in radio frequencies. So uh, the usage of machine learning and also Pandas, which is a library for data scientists, is a necessity. Other than that, I was I already completed the Zero Gans class, so I was already here. And I said, why not? I can really use the knowledge, the extra knowledge. So what was my course experience? My course experience, well, the good part was that everything was really analytical. Everything, we went step by step for everything, which made it really easy for me. But on the other hand, for people that have no experience on the subject, it helped. It, it, it was their, I can call that their stepping stone within uh, within machine learning. Bad parts. Well, bad parts. There weren't any real bad parts. I would consider them. Maybe it was too easy, I guess, for some people. But then again, as I said. The, the Zero to Pandas is supposed to be an introductory class, so it wasn't really bad. Uh, I really cannot think of any. And how will it help me? It will help me manipulate and use the data that I will accumulate from NERF readings, which, well, that's the best. The only way to do that is through machine learning and through Pandas. And what do I plan to do next? Hmm. Well, I will use this knowledge to write the Py any Python script that I need. Uh, Juniper server has been set up already for me, and uh, well, I've set it up. And finally, I will be in Java and ML looking within the community to help other people out. Thank you. Thank you, Konstantinos. Um, we are glad that the skills will be useful for you in your PhD, and all the best. And then we have Anupam, also from India. And you can see Anupam's project in the background. Konnichiwa. A very good morning to all. I am Anupam Kumar Brahma, pursuing my master's from IIT Madras. I have been going through my regular design-related courses, activities, and projects and all. It was going very well. But one day when I wanted to see how the industry trends are going on through blogs and sites, then I realized that everything is data driven and you need to be aware of something related to data science or wire machine learning in this uh, digital world. So then I thought of taking some course related to data science. Uh, so I received a mail from joven.ml one day that they are starting a six week course for zero to pandas. So I thought this would be a good course to start on with and I enrolled for the course. And I believe this was a good starting step for me uh, after going through the course because from the first week it is a guided course where you learn uh, how Python is used, can be used in order to implement on a data set that is present and get insights from it. From the first week onwards you learn about how Python can be used, what are the different libraries like NumPy, Seaborn, Matplotlib, SciPy, etc. You implement on your data set and visualize the data and how you can do exploratory analysis on the data so after the five week course uh, after the five weeks of the schedule of the course then you are supposed to do a project on a real world data set i love cricket very much mahendra singh dhoni and csk so my domain knowledge in cricket helped me to choose a data set related to ipl and i implemented a project on it the graph which you can see behind is one of the uh, visualization plots that i have made and uh, there are many more in that project which i implemented and i feel very contented after taking this course and I am looking forward to take any courses related to data science or AI and ML offered by Jovian and I suggest anyone who wanted to get some confidence if you are a beginner to take this course. Thank you. Thank you Anupam and we really enjoyed your project on the IPL analysis as well.
well that's it that's what we have for you today so uh, with that i will take leave and thank you once again for joining us on this journey and making it through so congratulations on making it through to the end and even if you did not you still have the option of uh, taking the course at your own pace and we are just updating the content a little bit to make it a little bit easier to um, digest in a self paced mode and we hope to see you in a future course with that goodbye and good night or good day depending on where you are